Welcome to QNE Software, a GST compliant accounting software for your company. In this video, I will talk about free gift rules or deem supply. Free gift rules is the private use of business assets, business gifts more than RM500 accumulated in the same calendar year, supplies to a connected person that is required to account for output tax. Before we begin, we have to define the deem supply tax code and other GL account in the GST setting. The tax code for deem supply is DS. Make sure posting account has been assigned. It is recommended to create a free gift account and GST expenses account in your expenses GL account. Now let's create a free gift journal. First, go to GL, Journal, Free Gift Journal and create a new journal. From here, you can select the free gift that will be given to any parties, for example, salesperson, purchasers, customers, suppliers, users, or others. System will retrieve the record from the database, and you can select the party's name or code. Except for others, you will have to manually input the name of the person, and it is case sensitive. System will record how many times you have given a free gift to this person per calendar year. You can also select the gift from either from account or from stock. Account is referring to the previous assets that you have purchased, example, computer, laptop, furniture, stationery, etc. Stock refers to the inventory items in your current inventory list. Now let's try to enter a new free gift journal. The type will be customers and the customer is best type. Gift from will be from account and from account, computer and software. Amounting 400. Let's put the description to Acer Use Laptop Model Acer P2000. System will generate the journal entry automatically. Since the amount is only RM400 in year 2015, thus no output tax is required to account. Now let's try to enter another free gift journal to the same person. This time we set the date to a different date but within the same year. And this time, we will put the amount at 200. Again, system will generate a journal entry automatically. Since the amount is accumulated and more than RM500, thus the system will calculate tax inclusive of the amount and account for the output tax. In this case, we are required to account for output tax RM33.96. Other than the RM11 ringgit 32 cents from the RM200 journal, an addition of RM22 ringgit 64 is required to account for output tax. This means that the calculation from the previous versions are different. The new announcement from customs is that we need to calculate from the entire amount, and in this case, RM400 plus RM200. Thank you for watching.